My name is Trey Franklin and my team is Houston Solar Race Team. Tell me what's uh, going on today, what are y'all doing? Well today's the first day, it's the beginning of the race and we're racing, we just left the Fort, we just left Fort Worth and we will be go, we'll, we'll go to Snyder today. Tell me about the uh, vehicle here. Well, obviously it's a solar car so it runs off the sun and this car we've had for about two or three years but every year we add, you know, we improve it somehow and like this year we added some more press zones and we have a brand new array so we can average speeds around anywhere between 30 and 35 depending on the weather conditions and the road conditions. It's certainly not built for comfort. It's a competitive vehicle so we don't have it. We, our air conditioner is like is a computer fan. <laughs> and the seat is it's it's pretty supportive, but I, w I definitely wouldn't want to ride in it for you know any very long distance travel. Well, our panels are actually some of the least efficient at the race. They're 14.5 percent efficient, and what happens is is they gather sunlight. It goes to our power trackers up front, which. Mess, basically mess with the electricity to make it compatible with our controller and our battery pack and it goes in the battery pack and then it goes out into the controller and into the motor where it turns the wheel and that's, that's how we go. Well we can run all day as long as we have sunlight and are smart with our speed. Okay, uh, nighttime driving we, or cloudy? We can. When it's cloudy, we can we can still run just a little bit slower, especially like if our batteries are, have been charged or if they were still full from the other from yesterday, then we could run at you know comparable speeds. The advancement to a point where we'll have solar cars that I guess would be comfortable for people to drive in as far as uh, you know the, the the creature comforts where how, how far do you think that is away or we're not going to have that no that's that's not going to be a, a possibility for a while but what you're going to have immediately is uh, like a situation they have in Austin you have an electric vehicle you go to work uh, on the top of the garage or solar cells and all they do is plug in the car and the energy is coming from the sun but it's being downloaded into a battery. Okay. Same thing happens here but we just carry the solar way with us. Energy is downloaded into a battery and they use that to drive along. So you can't put very uh, enough solar cells on a car to, to really truly be efficient. Okay. Right now you're just carrying the weight of a driver and that's bad. Right. Remember they were talking about how Obama put money into that solar company in California and went belly up? Okay. Well, it wasn't anything because of the solar company, it was because China undercut the price on there and they couldn't compete. So when we talk about vehicles, we're looking at maybe like a, a solar electric hybrid. That's right, that's right, right. absolutely. Uh, my name is Matt Sand, I'm the judge with the uh, the Bullard team here and uh, they're uh, they're an amazing uh, first year team. I, I'm really impressed with them. Their performance is outstanding. When, we, when you run with a first year team, you kind of have to be careful about the, the safety and all that. But this team is, is really, really good. To to do. Hopefully, we'll have no penalties. Well, when you're judging, what, what are you judging? What are you looking for? We're, we're looking to make sure that they follow rules, and we do have a set of race rules, but more importantly than even the normal rules is safety. We want to make sure that, the, that when we have a breakdown on the side of the road, kids don't run out into traffic, you know, those kinds of things, or road be exposed to real risk. So. This must be difficult in traffic and on highways with people. And not imagine how difficult it is out there when you've got uh, solar cars running at maybe 30 miles an hour and there are people out there who are slower and there are people that just don't want to wait behind you. We try to pull over and we can't get out of the way, but there are cars that will pass where we had a car already today that passed on the right on the shoulder to go around us. That's just, it gets kind of hairy at times.